Hey guys, how's it going? All the games nominated in the Game Awards are known and we wanted to make our predictions and we also want to know yours. So this time, and we really mean this, let us know down below in the comments what do you think will happen. But before continuing, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the bell so you don't miss out on a thing. Okay then, let's get going. So the nominees in all categories of the Game Awards were finally revealed. And although there were some surprises, it was mostly what we were expecting. And for the Game of the Year, there is one big omission. If we talk about publishers having the most nominations, by far PlayStation was the highest on the list with 22 nominations, followed by Xbox and Supergiant with 8, and Square Enix, Devolver and Activision in third position with 6. But if you're still watching, that's probably because you want to know the nominees and what we think about them. So let's dive into the most important categories. More and more people are playing video games on their mobile devices. You may not like it, but in 2020, we saw a lot of pretty good games that were released just for mobile. In this category, we think it's between Among Us, Genshin Impact and Call of Duty. With Call of Duty coming out on top, all the games had a spectacular year, but Genshin Impact is the outsider. Despite all the hype it generated and the millions of players it has, it just hasn't been around long enough to beat Call of Duty. So we would bet on the well-known franchise in this category. If anyone other than Microsoft Flight Simulator wins in this category, it would be an injustice. The latest game in the well-known saga is a true delight and deserves to win the award for best simulation game. The graphics are on another level and the gameplay is merely nothing but spectacular. For those of us who are fans of this type of game, there's really nothing more to say. The multiplayer mode of any game is always focused on making us just have fun and here the graphics matter a little less, so without a doubt, in this case we would give it to Among Us. We were also trying to decide between Warzone and Fall Guys but the last one has fallen a bit short since its initial release and Warzone is incredible. But Among Us has been a real hit this year. So even though we've had a couple of friendships end over this game, we here at Zoom and Games would award this to Among Us. Do you agree? Esports is gaining more and more ground, and this year, the Game Awards has many categories dedicated to them, but the one that interests us the most is this one. So, as a European company, we may be a bit biased on this, but we believe G2 Sports should take this award. Damwon won the Worlds, yes, but the good vibes that the G2 League of Legends teams transmit is something that very few esports teams have. Also, they had a great year winning both splits and were the best European team in the World Cup. It would be, without a doubt, the perfect goodbye for the legend of the team, Perks. This is an important category, due to the fact that players are the ones who say if the game is good or not, and the companies have to be grateful to us, because without us, they'd be nothing. So, seeing these types of categories representing us is something that we definitely like. Having said this, although fucking Fortnite will surely take it, we would give it to Fall Guys, due to the fact that this is a game that was released this year and it was also so successful that it deserves to be recognized in at least one award and this is the category we think that they would deserve the most. The long term future of video games seems increasingly to be focused on virtual reality. Nominees in this category are Dreams, Half-Life Alex, Iron Man VR, Star Wars Squadrons and The Walking Dead, Saints and Sinners. To cut to the chase and trying to be as respectful as possible, comparing Half-Life with the rest of the nominees is one of the most absurd things that we have seen in recent years. And if Alex does not win in this category, we'll pack up, close the channel and leave this world behind. Because we would no longer know what to think. This one has to be won by Crash Bandicoot 4 because it's a great game comparable to the first ones in the series. But being realistic, this is a Nintendo category and given the success it's had, it would be a travesty if it wasn't won by Animal Crossing New Horizons. This category is very interesting and it's probably the one we consider to be the most important. The nominees are 5 great action games that are very different but with tremendous quality. Here, our bet is on Doom Eternal. What do you think? This is one of the categories we had to think about the most. We discarded three quickly, Spider-Man Miles Morales, Assassin's Creed Valhalla and Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. 
then Ori and the Will of Wisps is a real gem, but it just isn't quite up to the level of being the best. So then, we're only left with two, both of which are PlayStation exclusives, Ghost of Tsushima and Last of Us Part 2. Between the two games, the one that we enjoyed the most, and that is the most original, is definitely Ghost of Tsushima, Go Jin. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for. Finally, Game of the Year. The nominees of this category are Animal Crossing New Horizons, Doom Eternal, Final Fantasy VII Remake, Ghost of Tsushima, Hades, and The Last of Us Part II. The first question is where the hell is Half-Life Alex? We strongly believe that this great game deserves to be here. However, based on our criteria, we are hoping that it will be between Doom Eternal, Ghost of Tsushima, and The Last of Us Part II. Obviously, we would love if Ghost of Tsushima wins, but in the years gone by, it has been won by a samurai, and we don't think that he can take it again this year, but we'd still love it. Then it comes down to Doom and The Last of Us. Our head tells us that The Last of Us will take it, because it's the game created to satisfy today's society and the people who vote in these awards like that a lot. But the heart tells us that Doom Eternal will take it. And here at Zoom and Games, we'll forever always follow our hearts. So having said this, Zoom and Games would like to declare our winner for the game of the year, Doom Eternal. We've made it. What do you think? Tell us in the comments down below who you think will win and in what categories we mentioned. Don't be shy, as we can see we all have very different opinions. Leave us a like if you liked the video and see you soon fam.